Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm happy you're here today because we are going to be taking a look at my mantle for the Christmas season. Now, if you're here last week, you saw that I did put up my Christmas tree and I haven't decorated it yet. I still haven't done that. We'll do that together. And I shared with you a new piece of furniture, but I did say that my mirror had not arrived yet. So I wanted to just take a quick second to show you that my mirror is finally here and I did add some garland and make a few changes. And I also wanna say thank you so much for all of the comments and likes and all of the support that you guys have given me. Our channel has grown so much and I am so thankful for every one of you guys that tune in each week. So let's not wait any longer, let's get into the decorating. So we'll be starting with a clean area. Everything has been moved out of the way. And this is my fireplace mantle that my husband built. And I just am starting with a quick vacuum. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the top of the fireplace and get everything ready for decorations. So we have the stockings hung by the chimney with care. And I like to use um, plug-in lights, but if you don't have a plug behind your fireplace or you just don't like the idea of using plug-in lights, you can always opt for the battery powered ones. Um, I just really like the warm glow that these provide and I do have a plug back there. So um, when I'm using a long strand of lights, um, in, the, in this way. I like to lay the lights down first and I do still have a lot of excess lights hanging over the side. And so what I'll do is lay the um, garland on the mantle and kind of weave the bottom layer of lights in and then I'll flip the lights over the top of it and weave it through the top as well. That way I've got lights going throughout the entire mantle. So we're off to a good start. We have our garland, it's lighted, we have our stockings hung, and now we're going to add in one more garland. This is where the knit comes in. I really like this cozy look. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I'll include the card so that if you're interested in taking a look at the Hobby Lobby haul, um, you can see all of the different items that I purchased there, but I love the brass, and we're gonna be going with this neutral knit and brass for this whole look. Okay, so let's bring in some wood tones. Um, you guys saw that I had picked these candlestick holders up at Hobby Lobby when they were on 50% off, and I love the that sort of rustic wood um, look of them. I'm gonna use these battery-powered candles that you guys know I love. They're so easy to use, and they do come with a remote. They take two AAA batteries, and um, I will link these. I got these from Amazon, and I am loving using these. But I wanna place these on the side of the mantle and bring in some of this wood element. But the problem is that they're both the same size. And so what I'm gonna do is just use anything I can find around the house as a riser so that one of them looks taller than the other. This way we have varying heights for the candles. That creates a little bit more visual interest. So I picked this wood Christmas tree up a few years back and up until this year, I haven't really had a lot of places where I could use it because I kind of went with more of a traditional look. But this year I'm using the wood and the neutrals and I think this is gonna create a nice balance for the wood candlestick holders that we have on the other side of the mantle. So now that the top of the mantle is complete and I'm keeping it kind of minimal just with the garland and the lights and the wood elements, I wanna bring in a little bit of that wood element over here to this side. Now, since I painted, I removed my curtains and I kind of like the look of this craftsman style window with no curtains. I really like the, the detail of the window casing. So I'm gonna leave this um, with no curtains, which means I have no fabric over here, nothing to soften up this area. So I'm gonna bring in a blanket ladder now to the blanket ladder, I do wanna add in something cozy that's gonna bring in that warm element, that sort of softness over to this section. So I'm gonna be placing on that blanket ladder this 
um, scarf. Now, on my blanket ladder, it does look like a throw, but it's actually just a scarf, and it's got some really pretty textural elements with the tassels on the bottom. So I'm just gonna place this here on the blanket ladder. Now I do want to tie in some of the greenery from the mantle garland onto the blanket ladder. So I'm just going to bring in this little mini wreath. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. I didn't have anything to hang it with. So I just sort of strung a piece of this jute through one of the wires. And we're going to go ahead and place this on the blanket ladder. So things are looking really cute over here on the side of the fireplace, but I finally received my order from McGee & Co and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since be before even Halloween. I ordered this in the beginning of October, but it is these beautiful bells. I got this off the McGee & Co website and they are gorgeous. Now I know this season a lot of people are using the brass bells and I do like the ones that you can find on Amazon. I'm not sure if McGee & Co has these in stock anymore. I'll link the ones on Amazon if you're looking for something similar. Similar. Okay, so I'm really enjoying the way that looks next to the fireplace, but it's time to turn our attention downward. Since I don't have a garland that sort of swoops down over the sides of my mantle, I want to use some decorative elements to sort of bring the eye down as if I did have a cascading garland greenery. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and place this wicker basket here. I use this for a lot of different seasons. I love the natural look of wicker and I think that this is a great way to bring in something that's neutral and natural with a little bit of an earthy feel. Okay, so we've done well with bringing in the greenery, sort of bringing the eye over away from the top of the fireplace and to the blanket ladder. And so now we're gonna add in this lantern. Now I just sort of placed some Christmas balls in here with some fairy lights. These are the battery powered ones. So I'm just gonna place this here on top of the wicker basket. Okay, so we brought a wood element, a fabric element, and a lighted element. It's time to continue the greenery downward, and we're gonna use this flock Christmas tree to do that. I've just placed this in a thrifted flower pot. Um, this is the one that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, and it is flocked. I don't usually have a flock Christmas tree, but I do like to incorporate a little bit of some of the flocked greenery throughout the house just to break up so, it, uh, you know, so it's not so much the same all the time. So I'm gonna place this here, and then I also have another one and I placed this in also a crop. Actually, I got the idea to place these in a crop from a viewer from last week's video. I had asked for some suggestions on how to sort of change things up a little bit and they recommended that I put my Christmas tree on my side table in a crock and I think this looks so cute and this is just a thrifted crock. Um, you can find any type of crock. If you don't like what's on the front of it, you can just flip it around. And so we're gonna place these here next to the um, wicker basket. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the mantle decorating. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this video a like and check out that video right there.